Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you saw this morning's reading, I apologize. That should have been a private reading. I had a friend over and her family just happens to be in Wiccan uh, spirituality and it came out. Power and flexibility. Interesting combination we're getting here. Be powerful but flexible. Spirit, may I please have a message for this time I'll be for? <clears throat> I was trying to do a weekly read, like a prediction message, but Spirit keeps giving me signs, so I'm going to keep taking them. May I have a sign, please, or round and round if it's for the collective? Sorry, Spirit. This is going to be a message for the sign of Sagittarius. Welcome back to the channel, beautiful Sagittarians. Handsome Sagittarians. I have happiness and flexibility. For some reason, you're having to be flexible. So make sure you're staying flexible. Whatever that means to you. And it has something to do with your community. Be flexible in your community. Alright, Spirit, what virtues are you giving us out of sacred destiny from the Sagittarian? I have freedom, change, and a new beginning. You're about to get freedom, baby. You're going to have a change in your life that's going to lead you to something new. Owls are significant, and you're also going to have an illumination. Things are going to be shown to you so you can see what to do when it comes to your new beginning. All right, Spirit, I have shuffled these cards. I just want to real quick make sure that the energy is clear. Because that reading this morning was very, very intense. And I apologize to anyone who watched it and was not resonating with it it was a very specific private reading for one person i think or two it could have been a couple of y'all all right spirit talk to me about what's working in sagittarius's life right now how are you working i see you got something new coming sagittarius you're about to be freed from something that's kept you down for a while now the hermit's here the tower and the chariot wow so you're soul searching, you're going inside, you're looking around, you've got that flashlight out, trying to find something that you feel like has been missing. You're going to realize what that is and you're going to overcome it. And you have something that's about to end. So you're fixing to end something because you're soul searching about whether or not it's worth your time. There's going to be a tower moment that helps you decide, is this worth my time? And then you may get in your car and move. You may get in your car and travel somehow. And then this could indicate international travel for some of you. But you're about to have a huge, tra you're going to have freedom, change, new beginning, and you're going to be eliminated. <clears throat> Let's talk about freedom real quick for Sagittarius. One second, Sagittarius. Sorry about that. I'm waiting for my pizza to be delivered. I had to turn the light on. Freedom. Cliff Swallow. We read about the Cliff Swallow the other day. The swallow flies free on wind currents and thermals in remarkable aerial maneuvers, igniting the expression as free as a bird. <laughs> In many cultures, such as that of the ancient Egyptians, the swallow was thought to carry souls to heaven, and early sailors would tattoo themselves with the image of a swallow, so if they drowned, the swallow would carry their soul to the heavens. In poor light, a cliff swallow looks brownish gray. However, in good lighting, it is a luminous metallic dark blue. Cliff swallows traditionally make their nest at vertical cliffs carefully, crafting them out of mud. Although they can nest 
solitarily, they usually nest in a colony. When one finds a, a cloud of insects, it alerts the other members of the flock so that all can be nourished. Even enough, even though they fly free, their community supports them. So you, you're going to be in, in a situation, you, you've been in a situation where you have felt like you were tied down, not allowed to do anything. You may have been in a controlling relationship or job that had you really tied down. You're going to have a lot more freedom now because things are about to change for you. Dancing clouds. Throughout time, people have looked by the heavens for signs, and in ever-changing movement of the clouds, they have seen shapes and forms that seem to be direct messages from the Creator. Clouds are shapeshifters. Their essence is the same, but they can change from mist to rain to ice to snow to water. The transient nature of clouds, with, with the understanding that life is transitory and ever-changing. The sacred landscape wants you to know it's okay to change your mind. It's all right to change directions. You do not need to be consistent. This is the time to put the needs and expectations of others aside and listen to the beat of your own drum. You don't need to follow tradition. Create your own traditions. You are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Be daring. Go beyond predictable behavior. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way. You can't control the exact circumstances of your life, but you can control what meaning you give to them. Select meanings that are empowering for you. It's time to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. So, <clears throat> you're getting out of a situation where you felt stuck and, and captured, and like you were a bird in a cage, and you're going to have a lot of change, and somehow hot air balloons, horses, owls, mountains, and beautiful sunsets are significant. This is leading you to something brand new, and you're going to have illumination. I want to read you illumination. Illumination, rising mist on Alpine Lake. As the sun rises over the far mountains, mist begins to swirl upward, illuminated by the golden radiant rays of morning light. In many tradition, mist symbolizes what's called the mist of veil, which represents an entrance point into unseen realms. In ancient and native cultures, mist are associated with the mystical and magical of inner dimensions. Mist of the mountain in the mountain represents higher states of consciousness. Hold on one second, please. Sorry for the interruption. The sacred landscape wants you to know the upward spiraling mist rising in the mountains suggests that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors, and guardians are close at hand assisting you with your upward journey of illumination. They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds. Even if you can't see what's ahead, spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and what you think, and you will be guided in a wondrous direction. So you're being guided to somewhere special. I see that too. You're soul searching about it right now and about to have a tower because of it. All right, now let's pull the ancient, not ancient, why did I say ancient? The energy oracles. The energy oracle cards. You're about to have freedom, Sagittarius. Real freedom, and it's going to bring huge change and a new start. And you're going to have yourself in your nation. Your spirit team is right there with you, helping you every step of the way. Trust that what you feel more than what you see. Somebody's all tied up and they want to be happy. Yeah, you're in a situation where you're all tied up. And spirit is like, no, not my Sagittarius. Your heart got broken. 
And you're going through the door to personal healing and happiness. So you had your heart broken by somebody or something that happened. And you've been healing. And you're getting your happiness back. And now you are a woman holding a heart. There's another woman, I think, in your life, Sagittarius. Or you might have a man in your life that you would like to offer your heart to. Let's see what number 44 stands for. But you 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 got hurt and you've healed. And now you're holding a heart. Or somebody in your life is. This could be another woman. The woman holding the heart. Upright. Female dealing with family, love, or emotions. The woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity for love. Yeah, you're ready for something new. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You're an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing the awareness of all that you do to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who's here to help with issues of love, family, or emotion. This is an import, this is an even tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also portend a new love. It's a new love. You have a friend, I think, that you want to be in love with. You got a heartache, something happened. But you're getting free from that now, and now things are changing. You've got to have freedom from a situation you've been in. You're going to have the opportunity to start something new. This is like an Ace of Cups, but there's been some deceit in a caring connection with a friend. And then you have this door to value. You have a lot of abundance coming in is what it looks like. So you might be freeing yourself from this friend because they refuse to let go of a third party. We're going to find out how this happened to you. Don't worry. All right, Spirit, let us see, please, how this happened to my Sagittarius. My sweet, sweet Sagittarius. How did this happen to my sweet Sagittarian spirit? What did, what did, what did go on here? move this stuff out of the way. What went on here to hurt my Sagittarius and cause all this pain and the need to be personally happy and healed in their heart? They're holding their heart. They might have somebody working with them that's going to teach them some things. All right, how'd this happen? Check yourself. You're playing with fire. So... You realized you, were, you needed to check yourself you were playing with fire. Or somebody was. Somebody might have been pissing you off. Alright, what's being hidden? That you need to love the one you're with. And this includes you. And that your boundaries are trash. So secretly somebody is loving the one they're with. Because they have bad boundaries. They don't know how to say no. All right, what's being shown? That's what's being hidden. Somebody's been lying to you about a relationship. What's being shown is that you can't say thank you enough. Love can hurt like hell and somebody's irritated. All right, what's going to happen next? Somebody deserves a medal for putting up with somebody's ass because they hurt them and now they're irritated. What's going to happen next is you are not being heard. Somebody doesn't hear you. And you're going to go on a real fucking date. Yeah, you're going to have somebody new. And it's not that serious. Life fuckers, don't let the bullshit make you bitter. So this person continued to hurt you and hurt you and hurt you and hurt you with their behavior. And you finally said, you know what? I don't have to put up with this shit. I've been soul searching about this. And I don't care who you are. You're not going to treat me this way. I'm Sagittarius. And you're going to go on a real date. Because somebody is loving the one they're with in secret. They have bad boundaries. That doesn't sound like a good thing, does it? 
All right, talking the spirit out of this deck about how this happened in Sagittarius. <clears throat> A lot of cards came out. All right, what I have here is somebody had a wish fulfillment that got disappointed and now they're open to receive something happened last summer where somebody was wearing a facade about their beliefs but there was a lot of chemistry and passion and they tried to control it they tried to control how they felt about you why did they try to control it or you did because of a lot of dark shit that they had just come out of all right, what were they hiding? That they didn't love themselves. They had a lot of karma and balance coming. A lot of karma coming. Justice. They might have been in legal trouble. There's a twin flame here that they had doubts about. All that came out in reverse. But secretly, they have fears and doubts. Lack and doubt about a twin flame. And about karma, balance, and justice, and self-love. That's what they're hiding from you. Is that they know that you're the twin flame, but they have lack and doubt, and they have they know they have karma coming to them because of the way they've treated you. What's being shown that this deception, this temptation, and this deception is over? Because somebody's about to be courageous take, and take action and start something new. And that's going to be you, Sagittarius. What's going to happen next? You're going to take real good care of yourself. Real good care of yourself. You're going to take care of you. You're going to probably start going to the spa more often. Um, doing some energy cleansings at the spa. Things like that. And you're, you're going to stop thinking about this person who left you for dead and you don't give a shit about you anymore or ever did all right show me how this happened bad boundaries what's being hidden that somebody was running from some memories but they're longing going to a lot of emotional stuff right now they're going through some emotional times some turmoil also what's being shown that they're no longer pretending they're hoping that they're in despair all right what's gonna happen next somebody's just tired of this they're over this infatuation they have had enough of it they're tired of it being so tense all the time and they're walking away for good good for you sagittarius all right let's pull some to roll on this why is the um, hermit here that's virgo by the way because somebody felt helpless and hopeless and they were healing from it why is the tower here because of the divine feminine the empress the lovers the knight of cups the wheel of fortune and the six of pentacles the tower is going to be a divine feminine realizing that they have a choice to take their love to take their love somewhere else where that they can have a fair and balanced relationship where they don't have to get treated like crap because the other person's in the third party all right why is the chariot here good for you sagittarius the chariot's here because right now you're coming out of a stuck place why are they coming out of a stuck place because of you needing to heal some more. You have a little more healing to do, Sagittarius, from something so that you can make future plans. And why is the world here? Because there's going to be a spark, an ace of wands, and an ace of pentacles. You're starting something brand new. You have all the aces here. Beautiful. Good for you. You have all of them but the ace of cups. Where's this knight going with this cup? The hermit's here. Somebody has been soul searching about ghosting you and rejecting you. Why do we even care about that? Because that's why they're ending this over here. With the queen of swords that's a bitch. And you're their friend and somebody's been wanting to gossip. While they were healing, somebody was gossiping. 
What gossip were they saying? What were they saying about Sagittarius? They were saying that you were a great actor and you were putting on a show and that you were in your feelings. All right, what's the truth? That you had a crush on somebody. Somebody was having tantric sex and somebody was a bugaboo. And they got caught cheating. So somebody was constantly bugging this person for sex and even trying to have sex in the astral realm with them and had a crush on them. What else do we need to know here? You're going to stand your ground. <laughs> You're like, I'm not a bugaboo. I can take care of myself at the sex shop. You're just jealous because your person's into me, not into you. All righty, good man. Talk to me about where this Divine Feminine is at here. They've been going through a dark night of the soul. All right, where's their other counterpart? They're at a crossroads because they're healing. What's going to happen between these two in the next week? You're going to learn some lessons about somebody in your tribe who's not faithful to you. And then you're going to refocus. What happens once they refocus? You're going to return and be patient. Or you've been patient all winter waiting for this person to return. There's going to be a barrier removed though. What happens when the barrier is removed? They're going to end something. They're going to finally surrender and end something. What are they ending? They want to make an offer. They've been watching you and they want to end something. Clarify this ending. They want to stop hurting you. Because they see you have self-worth. Alright, talk to me, Spirit. What do we need to know? Sagittarius Spirit says you have integrity. And there needs to be an apology. Anything else? Anything else we need to know? There's chemistry here. And then marriage. Why is marriage here? Why is marriage here? Because it's an interference. It's causing this person to be unavailable and it's making them go slow. So what should Sagittarius do? It's a lot of cards, Spirit. Set some boundaries. You're stable. You're abundant. Have fun. And make a decision to let this person go. They're not worth it. Use your intuition. Use your intuition and let them go. Alright, Spirit. How are the angels helping Sagittarius since we've seen that their spirit team bringing you peace? You're feeling some vibes, giving you the vision to see the truth and unity. Why is unity here? Because of sexuality and a guardian angel. Somebody new coming in. We're going to have wisdom about this. Somebody new is coming in, and I'm going to find out in just a few. Give me just a minute to get my pizza, and we'll find out who's coming in. Hold on. All right, right. let's find out who's coming in. You got new everything but the cup. The only thing missing here is the cup. Talk to me, Spirit, about what's going on with Sagittarius. Somebody wants to tell you that they love you and they've had this epiphany, but they can't tell you. They keep chickening out. What's being hidden? That somebody is incomparable and they're in denial. Jealousy came out. What's being shown? So somebody's secretly jealous. That somebody is watching you and they're shutting this down because of being haunted. Clarify shutting down being haunted. It has to do with friend support. So what's going to happen next? I guess they're haunted by the way they treated you. You're going to online date because you felt helpless. You're going to trust your intuition when it comes to somebody arrogant who kept you waiting. 
and you're going to let them go. Let them go from the reverse. All right, let's talk about Sagittarius' as a new person. How does their new person feel about them? They want to tell you the truth. It's a king of wands. And a, and a queen of swords in reverse. They want to come in and say, I'm no longer with that person. They've been talking to me. They were playing mind games with me. Alright, what else is this new person feeling for Sagittarius? I'm no, happy that right. you're healing and no, right. that there's a third party ending, that there's hope now. There's a Leo and an Aquarius here, I think. Or it's a Libra. This is Leo and a Libra. They want to come in and tell you that they got in an argument or a fight with this person. They're tired and they want to heal from these wounds and they want to stop having this person in their life. They're over this person. That's what they're going to tell you. And that you have hope now. What's the truth, Spirit? You're here, the Queen of Pentacles. And you're like, you think I'm a fool and I'm going to let you play more mind games with me. Just by telling me that y'all had a fight. Y'all fight all the time. What's the truth about this relationship ending? They, got, they found out they got the competition. And they're having to end something new that they started. It's going to end. Why is it ending? Because they want to go somewhere that's a lot quieter, a lot calmer, and they don't want anybody to know about this because they're doing it underhandedly. Why are they doing it underhandedly? Because if they didn't, they would never have the ability. If they didn't lie to this person, this person would argue with them and never let them have their independence. That's what I see here. And there's a wheel coming too. Anything else we need to know about this new person? So it sounds like the old person to me. They're 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 self-sabotaging. The devil is here with the magician. There's magic here. There's your uh, there's your cup, but it's upside down. Because there's something's being transformed by some black magic when it comes to somebody that you're in love with and Feeling like they're all alone and and having a lot of anxious thoughts and feelings. So this person, it looks like, has literally either put some black magic on you or hired some money to. But I'm going to clarify that. Why is death here? Because this person that was that had stopped moving towards you realizes they missed an opportunity. What are they going to do? They're in the end of that old relationship and they're in love with you. Cancer's here. They're going to walk away from what no longer serves them. They're going to stop being so secretive about you and how much they realize how much they've hurt you by keeping you a secret. They kept you a secret and they do not want to let go. This person does not want to let go of this relationship, but they realize that you're at the point where you pretty much have already let go of it. And it may be too late. For some of you, it's too late for this relationship to have, to have anything substantial. All right. What would this divine masculine say to this divine family? Let's find out out of here first. What will the Divine Masculine say? Good strong answers on please from the universe. They would say, I feel so drawn to you and I'm in a committed relationship. See, what would you say to them? I don't want to let you go. What else? I hide my feelings. You broke my heart. And... I know you don't feel the same. 
So they feel drawn to you. How else do they feel besides they're in a relationship? It's like they don't have much feeling left for you. I don't know what comes next. Will you ever make things right? I admire you. What did they do they need to make right? I still have feelings for you. So they want you to take them back. I wonder how you feel, and I miss hearing your voice, but apparently y'all haven't been talking either. Alright. Let's see what they would say out of this deck. What would the Divine Masculine say out of here, Spirit? Whoa, he's got a lot to say. One at a time, please. One at a time. Where have you been my whole life? I'm in a relationship, but I'm feeling you. That's the second time we've seen this. And why don't you ever respond to my text in a reasonable time? What would she say to him? That I, I reread them all over and over again? What else? Who are you? You keep changing up on me because you're in another relationship. It's late, really late. Why aren't you here next to me? I smile when I'm reading, and I often wonder how you feel about me. So she has no idea how you feel about her. And really, she wonders. She wishes you were there with her late at night, but she knows you're with somebody else, and she ain't going there. I wish I would have talked to you when I had the opportunity. So somehow you missed an opportunity here. And I don't think they're going to give you another chance. I really don't. Sagittarius is a very forgiving person. But Sagittarius doesn't share. Trust me on this. Not when it comes to their men. Or women. Alright. Uh, Oracle card spirit. Somebody's been grieving. Their financial health is showing up. All the cards came out of my hand. Psychic abilities came out, and all the cards came out with it. Powerful psychic abilities here. Maybe both of you. Maybe just one of you. What else? You have a strong willpower. Like, when you want to accomplish something, you do. You have a lot of confidence, Sagittarius. That's beautiful. There's going to be forgiveness. And you're going to get answers. Clarify these answers. Clarify these answers. The Sagittarius is going to get. It has to do with your animals having good luck and something that you're manifesting. And trust. One more time I'm here. Somebody's going to also be traveling home. They're going to travel home. Alrighty then. I think we'll close it there for you, Sagittarius. I do want to give you a little bit of guidance. So I'm going to pull oh, one or two of these oracle cards. One, please, Spirit, if I may. That might be the one. I had to reach for it. Soul sisters. People around you are influencing you more than you realize. And Finch Spirit Guide. Reverse any roles you need to. Number 38 and number 11. Number 38 says this. You are being emotionally and psychologically influenced by the people around you more than you may realize. Sometimes it's good they uplift and inspire you and help you feel loved and loving. However, sometimes you can sense that being truly yourself in a situation could result in unwanted conflict and undermine yourself to keep the peace. You'll find that the moment you stop doing this, some difficulties you've been having in moving forward will fall away almost as if by magic. The relationships worth holding on to can handle more truth. Even if feathers get ruffled before being smoothed over once more with love. Some relationships nourish our soul while others damage it. A nourishing relationship has an effect on you 
on your soul just like nourishing food has on your body. It makes you feel good, increases your energy to live your life and enhances your well-being. Healthy relationships for your soul are those that uplift, inspire, and help you become more yourself with fearlessness. They do not drag you and your spirit down into anxiety and confusion. Some people may love you, they just don't know how to be in a relationship with you that's healthy for your soul. With, with such people, you will either need to show them how, how to be in a relationship with you by setting good boundaries with them. And sometimes this is not going to be enough to protect you from this negative influence of the relationship and you'll need to walk away. This can be sad, yet it can also create space for your soulmates to enter your life. People with whom you share a deep and spiritual connection. You love each other in a way that frees you to be yourselves. We attract new soulmates into our world by being good to ourselves. Be your own best friend first. Require respect in your relationships. Then you will find it easy to recognize the people whom you genuinely love and invite them into your heart. Number 11, Finch Guide. So you've, got, you've been around somebody that's not treated you very well. And you have to be better. You have to be good. You have to love yourself first, okay? It's a good <clears throat> time to experience with how to best care for yourself, your body, and your mind, and your soul. It's not about being perfect. It's about finding what works best for you. You're in a phase of your life where you're giving back a lot of yourself, and it's important. Perhaps you have been sharing a lot of yourself with others. You have come through a challenging time, like a death or the dark night. In, in the near future... You will be stepping up in a new way to share more creative energy and soul fire than ever before. All that you need to know right now is that you, you have the right, it's that it is the right time for you to take extra, you need to take extra special care of yourself, Sagittarius, for real you do. <coughs> What's going on with Sagittarius' money right now? There's something you can't see. There's a partnership. There's the underworld. Somebody's made some mistakes and it's undecided what's going to happen about these mistakes. Alright. What's going on with this partnership? Somebody's a student and divine timing is here. What's going to happen with Sagittarius next? You're going to be exploring. You're going to have science. You're going to have a shift. And something is unlocking. The Spirit says we can't talk about it. Just know that you're going to be a peacemaker. And that's all you need to know. All you need to know is take, take special care of yourself. Die. T. Q. V. O. Z. O. V. 9. Good for you for not letting anybody mistreat you. I nine D J A D Z M. Now I have D E Z. M T T Y L K D number nine. We keep getting the number nine. It's like you're almost at the end of something painful. T W G J H E M number three. That's that third party. Y B E L B E P nine. All right. Now I have a trinket or two for Sagittarius. Trinket for Sagittarius. All right. I have a piece of quartz crystal. Crystal. A marble. Dream big, a cat, 
perhaps a, a Catholic pendant, some kind of reptile, a fleur de lis, a clown, a Roman numeral dial, a flower, a, a fairy holding a heart, a deer, you might have a deer near your home, a fancy heart, and a very nice engagement ring for somebody. Okay, okay. Alright, I have the love between a grandmother and granddaughter forever. A huge key. Young and strong. The world. An infinity sign. An angel wing. The world. Like, this is over. A piece of black tourmaline. You're protected. <coughs> An infinity sign. An eye chain. A fancy heart with a flower. One two, three cactuses or pricks, an arrow, a ball, and an elephant with a heart on its trunk. All right, Sagittarius, stay blessed. I love you guys. Bye-bye.